and welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One. Are you new here or you are still here to subscribe? You should because this is where you get all the news. <laughs> Let's go. So there is updates on Hush Puppy. Hush Puppy got a lawyer. <laughs> well, that is expected because, you know, looking at all the charges leveled against him, definitely he needs someone to defend him. Now, the person defending Hush Puppy is called Gal Pizetsky. Now, this guy has been in the law world for close to 20 years. He has, let's say, defended people when it comes to various charges like murder, attempted murder, mail fraud, sex offenses, name it. So, we can see that this guy is experienced. So, recently, Gal was interviewed by Forbes and he made a shocking revelation. He stated that Hush Puppy is not guilty of all the charges leveled against him. <laughs> and this caused a whole uproar on social media. Now, he explained that Hush Puppy is a legitimate businessman, arguing that Hush Puppy is into real estate, one, and two, that he is an Instagram celebrity, a personality that, you know, helps brands, and that's how the money comes in and people were not just having it with a lawyer on one hand people were arguing and saying you see why we say lawyers are liars this guy is just lying and all that but on the other hand we had people saying that he has been paid to defend hush puppy what else is he supposed to say and that is where i am standing too what else is he supposed to say he's defending hush puppy so definitely he has to defend the hush puppy you get what i mean <laughs> but we're gonna see how this is gonna unfold at the end of the day i really want to see how he pulls Hush Puppy out of this entire drama. We'll be watching. I'm still talking about fraud. This lady called Ade herself on social media was arrested some weeks back. Now, personally, I did not know who this lady was until when she was arrested. Now, in June, she was arrested with four other people on the case of possessing some fraudulent documents and then well, everything that just has to do with fraud. But at the end of the day, she was arraigned in court by the EFCC and then the case was adjourned till July July 13th. Now, <laughs> this just got a lot of people reacting different ways because Ade herself is known on social media for creating funny skits, talking about family and all that. And to have her being arrested for such a thing was just overwhelming. <laughs> but you know what? You, all we see is just on social media. You really don't know what people are doing and you really don't know who people are so you should be very careful when you wish to have other people's lives people sometimes they think this way and another time you see them drifting towards the other way and i'll explain why the band has updates on his story with shaitan now former the band manager or the band's manager frank amudo came out to reveal some shocking things he stated that the band's current manager damian okorafo told him to discredit shaitan's accusations now <laughs> apparently Frank was the manager of the band when this whole rape thing supposedly happened. And it was the occupant of the room where the rape thing supposedly happened. The fourth conversation was between Damien and myself when he called me to come out to say, to discredit Shaitan. And I'm like, I can't do that. And he said, forget about the IG. What are you talking about? We can't, we will we'll resolve everything. I'll call the band. I said, call the band, do anything. But the truth is that I cannot discredit this girl. This whole revelation has pushed people from one mindset to another mindset it's very funny to see how people who were supporting the bunch before started supporting shaitan and people who were supporting shaitan started supporting the bunch like this whole thing was just mixed up you know one thing about the story i feel that there is something somewhere i just can't place my hands on it but like i always say justice will definitely take its course let me know what you think about this in the comment section hello to my ghanaian brothers and sisters <laughs> Okay, so there's this lady. Her name is Rosemond Alade Brown, known as Aqua Pem Polo. Now, she was on social media for various reasons during the week. Now, I'm sure you must have seen it while scrolling on social media. This lady celebrated her son's birthday, his seventh birthday on social media, by posting pictures from a photo shoot. Now, this photo shoot had her completely naked in front of her son, holding his hands, and the son was just in nothing but underwear now the picture you are seeing right here is an edited version of the whole thing because i cannot be posting naked pictures on my channel you understand what i mean but anyway she was backlash a lot of people insulted her and then she came out to apologize for posting such a picture looking at the insults and the captions i'm seeing on my page i've regretted posting it i just want to say a big sorry to whoever i hurt by posting that picture and want to say that it's not for bad intention. 
And even if not for my sake, the sake of my son, Chief Gam, what will you tell Ghanaians? Ghanaians, please forgive my mom. <sighs> I need to also add that she was arrested, of course, because of these pictures. We had the child rights, child movement, child care people. Yeah, they were all after her. Now, there was argument about these pictures. On one hand, we had people saying this child is hers, so she can do whatever it is she wants with her son. But on the other hand, we have people, or we had people who were saying that this is the reason we have children that grow up with the wrong mentality, the wrong mindset, the, the, the rights or the thoughts that they can actually touch people anyhow or do things anyhow. And then the argument just went back and forth. I just wonder why people do things the way they do them. Like, it just baffles me a lot. This is a child. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. On a light note, now you know that there's always this argument as to the gibberish and the sounds that babies make, whether it's a language or not. You hear them saying blah, 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 baby, blah, 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 and all that. Well, this French actor, his name is Lodge, has proven that babies actually speak languages. Take a look. If you guys thought I couldn't get dumber, I got another one for you. Your the aunt Tata feel Tati. Your auntie felt your auntie. Tata 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 tata. Très bien, très bien, oui oui. I'm sure the baby was saying, Mado. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for this week's episode of Lucy's Quick One. Till next week, Friday, when I got you with all the news. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for subscribing. 